Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verse is Romans chapter 13, verse 1. And this is not a verse that I was super excited to talk about because it directly addresses the political climate that our country currently finds itself in. It feels that we have never been a country more divided. And then I remember that we once had an actual civil war, and it took some of the pressure off. Romans 13, 1 says this, everyone must submit to governing authorities. For all authority comes from God, and those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. This is not a verse that is super easy to accept. For some of us, we think that there is no way that God actually intended for us to follow this verse with our current president, while others felt the same way about our last president. But does God actually want us to take this verse at face value? When we think about it, would God actually want us to follow any politician that seems like they are running our country in direct contradiction to what we think God would want us as a country to do? Well, let's go back real quick to the original author and audience of the book of Romans to give us some context. See, Paul is the author of the book of Romans. And this is the guy that we first find out about in the book of Acts when he is converted into a Christ follower after living his life as a persecutor of Christians. He is a Jew who is also a Roman citizen, and he originally wrote this book as a letter to the Christians living under Roman rule. See, the Romans up until this point had never been necessarily friendly towards Christianity. They worshiped other gods and they made rules that we would consider to be a massive infringement on our personal rights today. And then later, they would go on to persecute all of Christianity and execute many Christians in the Roman Colosseum as a part of their entertainment. But Paul's words were never uh, retracted. Everyone must submit to governing authorities, for all authority comes from God, and those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. It's not a question of agreement if we agree with our politicians. There are many things that leaders do that go against God's will and desires, but God still stays in control. The question is one of trust. Do we actually trust that our God is in control? Where do you need to trust God more in your own life? When things don't go the way that we think that they should, do we lose trust in God, or do we hold even tighter to the promises that he has made? Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.